This is going to be a quick video showing my recon build. Uh, this is the patch 1.4 and whatever number after that, but I'll go straight into it showing the weapons. I use dual daggers, could use the Commonwealth Energy Blade. Uh, the dual daggers you can block. I Honestly, I don't believe very much, but I think the dual dagger swing speed is a bit faster. Yeah, it does more damage. So, yeah. If I was Malikon or whatever or Bombercon I'd use Commonwealth Energy Blade but as I'm a Snipercon I'd use dual daggers. For my range weapon I will use a Scorpia most of the time, about 90% of the time unless I have to counter snipe but I still use a Scorpia to counter snipe. Um, the reason for this is it's good against tech and AVA like the Vindicator spam and it's very good on medics due to the debuff it gives that's not removable um, and targeting system because I tried switching to stealth because targeting system got nerfed to 5% range damage but I just never used stealth because I was so used to targeting system just being there um, so got rid of stealth kept targeting system and yeah it's been good present jetpack bionics could use the CCC but I just haven't changed it from the TTT during the patch, do I have a CCC? I do. I don't have a modded one, that's a bit interesting. But there it is. Um, visual scanner, TTT, and sealed systems. Oh, that's a shitty sealed systems. You could always put a health mod on sealed systems, it'll heal for a bit more. Um, I have a CCC sealed system, so the question is do I have a mod? No, I do not. Um, but yeah, you can switch shield systems out for range dim or vulture vision. I would probably switch it out for vulture vision so I have 10% damage buff all the time. But having shield systems is a lifesaver. It will remove poisons in Merc. And if you're being sniped and he ballists you, hits you a ballista, you just whack shield systems on, you get 500 heals, and then you're like three or four shot maybe. <clears throat> for armor, I just stack as many R's as I can. I haven't got many perfect bits. Oh, I got just one perfect bit, but I don't really need to get any more armor. As long as I'm free shottable, not too shottable by recons, that's fine. And the more health you can get after that is the is better, because due to all the poisons and stuff. <clears throat> um, my skills. This is my main sniper build. I go 508. I use this with a Scorp or Ballista. I use it in AVA and Merc. Um, <clears throat> I'll give you a reason why I get stuff. Jetpack power because I fly in the air most of the time. Power pull increase because I shoot a lot and I miss a lot. I need more power. One prop protection is needed and a bit of health. I think if you go double prop, you're still free shotable. If you go prot and health, you're free shotable. If you go double prot and health, you're still free shotable. So I'd, I'd just keep the damage in there. And then over here, this build is about, it doesn't really matter about my off hands as much, like because of the bionics nerf and you don't need uh, the stim increase. But I use get these three for increased damage less power and more range don't really need the range but need it for the other ones and that is a very important skill so you can shoot faster <coughs> super flight not really needed eagle eye it's a fairly good skill but I would go for killer instinct over that because it just does more damage don't really need the stims cooldown sure sure probably the best skill in the tree A super sharp shooter. Oh, door just opened. <sighs> but that's about it for the build. So thanks for watching.